uh, it's allowed itself an incredible uh, easy ride, not least by the fact that this confusion has meant that any critic of multiculturalism has been immediately decried for years now as a racist. What of do some you understand kind. by multiculturalism? Multicultural Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out another video from Douglas Murray titled Douglas Murray on Multiculturalism, Nothing More Divisive. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. As we all know, Douglas is someone that is very honest, always stand for the truth, and always say the truth. So let's check this out. Go. Do you agree with David Cameron that multicultural, multiculturalism in the UK has failed? This is the speech that David Cameron made this week where he talked about the doctrine of state multiculturalism that had encouraged different cultures to live separate lives. We failed to provide a vision of society to which they feel they want to belong. And we've even tolerated segregated communities behaving in ways that run completely counter to our values. Douglas Murray. Yes, I think he was right. Um, and I think we should start this by just reminding ourselves what multiculturalism is not. Multiculturalism is not multiracialism. It isn't pluralism. Uh, for years, the multicultural policy has been able to glide along in part because of that misunderstanding. Because of the misunderstanding that when you talk about multiculturalism as a policy, what you're talking about is solely immigration or multiracialism or so on. Uh, it's allowed itself an incredible uh, easy ride, not least by the fact that this confusion has meant that any critic of multiculturalism has been immediately decried for years now as a racist. What of do some you understand kind. by multiculturalism? Multiculturalism in the way as a policy. Cameron described as a policy, multiculturalism is the following. It is the idea that there is effectively no such thing as British society or British culture. There are simply different communities which you're born into. If, for instance, you're born into a community from an Asian background, you will be treated by government throughout your life as a member of the Asian community. If you're born into some other uh, a racial or, or religious grouping, you'll be regarded in that way. And that anything in that group could be different from what the norm in society goes on. Let me give one quick, quick example I gave in, in a, an article yesterday in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's, it's been quite commonly known in recent years, for instance, that girls of Pakistani origin have, at the age of 16, been taken out of British schools and married to older men. Now, if a white girl of 16 over recent decades had been married against her will to some randy old pervert who wanted to have his way with her, the state would have stepped in. It would have rightly said that that was an outrage. But, lo and behold, 16-year-old girls of Asian origin disappearing from their schools, nobody wanted to mention it because it could be thought to be racist. Right. The idea was that there are different values for different people in society, and there is nothing more divisive than that, and I'm glad that David Cameron has called time on it. Wow. What an interesting question. What an interesting answer from uh, Douglas Murray. We can all tell Douglas is someone that is very articulated. He always say the truth. He's very honest. He's very sincere. Always stand for the truth. And we can all tell this video uh, was made, uh, I believe, more than five, six, seven years ago. And... I believe the video is still relevant right now for what is happening in the society. And just like Douglas Murray, I've said that uh, multiculturalism have failed the British people. Multiculturalism have failed Europe. Multiculturalism have failed the UK. Because the idea of uh, people uh, people coming from different countries and you know settling down uh, in the UK, having their own culture, Having their own culture, like uh, having the Asian have their own culture, uh, the Pakistani people they also have their own culture, the African people have their own culture, and the government are going to treat everyone according to their culture, according to their value system. I believe uh, the point of Glassbury is trying to uh, portray in this video is that multiculturalism are in the UK, because I believe each country. Uh, each country, even British as a British, has its own identity, and we can all tell that the British identity is embodied. Uh, the British identity is embodied in in the British culture. Is embodied in the British tradition. Is embodied uh, in the British value system. If you want to come and live uh, in British, you want to come and live in UK. 
and you have your own culture, I believe your own culture should not go against uh, our British culture, should not go against our uh, UK culture, because the country in which you are residing, in which you are living, has its own culture, has its own tradition, have its own values. So your culture and your tradition should align with the culture of uh, the country you are residing in, should align with the culture of the British people, should align with the tradition of the British people, should align with the uh, value system of the yeah. British people. Your culture shouldn't go against uh, the British culture. Your tradition, your values shouldn't go against uh, the British value system. So I believe this is the point uh, Douglas Murray is trying to uh, prove in this video. Because right now, a lot of immigrants are coming from uh, different countries, uh, coming from Africa, coming from Asia, and, you know, coming from a uh, Muslim country, Christian country. And believe me, these people, they have their own culture, they have their own tradition. And in some cases, their culture, their tradition might not, might not align with the British culture, might not align with the British tradition, might not align with the British values. I believe this is what Douglas Murray uh, is trying to, uh, 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 this is the point he's trying to prove in this video. So I believe you coming as an immigrant into uh, UK, you should be able to adjust yourself uh, to accommodate British culture, to accommodate our uh, British value system, to accommodate British uh, tradition. Because I believe British has its own identity. UK has its own identity. His identity is embodied in his culture, is embodied uh, in his tradition, is embodied in, in, in his value system. You don't have to come into UK or uh, come into Europe or British and impose your own culture, impose your own value system, impose your own tradition on the people. Because I believe there are certain norms that might be accepted by your own tradition, but might not be accepted uh, in the British culture, in the British tradition, in the British value system. Just like uh, the example Douglas Murray gave in this video, that uh, that the Asian uh, Asian people, uh, the, the 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 young ones, the young ladies that are still in school, are being forced, have been have been taken out of school at the age of sixteen and forced to marry someone uh, against their will, someone that is far far older than them against their will. So I believe. That is totally wrong. That is totally unacceptable. And I believe that is against our British culture. In situations like this, I believe uh, the government should be able to step in in order to be able to uh, in, in, in order to be able to stop such an uh, ideology. Because I believe that is uh, very wrong. In a society where someone is forced against uh, against his will to marry someone that is far far older than older than her, I feel that is totally wrong. We can't say because. That is a norm that is accepted by the culture, by the norms, by the value system of, 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 of the Asian. That means uh, the British people also have to accept that culture. I believe, though, I believe such culture should not be accepted. Right now, we can tell what is currently happening in the UK, what is currently happening in British, what is currently happen, uh, happening uh, 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 in Europe, which Douglas Murray always talk about 10 years ago, right now has come to play in Europe, has come to play uh, in the UK. We can tell right now the current problem uh, UK, Europe, British are facing right now that Douglas Murray always talk about uh, is extremism. Uh, Douglas Murray always talk about Islam as uh, fundamentalist, Islam extremism, always talk about this thing. And that is what is happening right now in the UK. That is what is happening right now in British. So you living in a society, you have to accept uh, the values of the society. You have to accept the culture. You have to accept the tradition. You don't have to come into a country and because you have the freedom of speech, you have the freedom to practice whichever culture you want to practice. You don't have to take advantage of that and you try to impose your own culture, impose your own belief on the people, which I believe is totally wrong. The other day, I watched uh, a video which Douglas Murray debated a Muslim scholar, and the Muslim scholar was uh, saying that he wants Sharia law should be legislated in the UK. You can imagine that because you have your because you have Sharia law in practice at the country which which you come which you, which you came from, and right now you are you are you are 
telling the uh, the uh, the UK government that Sharia law should be legislated because it's accepted in your own country and you are coming to UK to impose your own country's law, to impose your own country's tradition, to impose your own country's value onto, uh, onto the British people, which I believe is totally wrong. And according to, I think, I can't remember the name of the, scho uh, of the Muslim scholar. I, I, I think his name is Chadri. Chadri, I can't remember the full name. He was saying, according to Sharia law, according to Sharia law, if you commit, uh, if a man commits adultery or a woman commits adultery, according to Sharia law, the man or the woman should be stoned to death. And if a man or a, or a woman who is not engaged commit fornication, they should be brought to the public and flog hundred latches of cane. And was uh, debating that Sharia law should be should be legislated should be legislated uh, in the UK that the countries which practice Sharia law that 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 they are they are less crime rate in those countries so he wants Sharia law to be legislated in the UK you are not from UK you are from a different country right now you have come to UK to practice your own culture to practice your own tradition because they give you the freedom to practice your own tradition they give you the freedom of speech and right now you are telling the people that they have to uh, uh, legislate Sharia law because Sharia law are. Uh, uh, is legislated in your own country. You want the same law to be legislated in you in the UK, which I believe is totally wrong. Is totally unacceptable, and I believe you shouldn't come from your own country and try to impose your own culture, your own tradition, your own uh, value on the British people. Because I believe every country has its own identity. British has its own identity, which is rooted in their culture, in their tradition, in their value system. So if you want to live in Britain, if you want to live in UK, you have to learn to accept their culture, learn to accept their tradition, learn to accept their value system. You don't have to come with your own culture, with your own tradition, and you try to impose it on the people. I believe that is totally wrong. That is totally unacceptable. And... Right now, currently, uh, currently, in the what is happening right now that Douglas Murray always talk about about the extremism, uh, British fundamentalists and all that. Douglas Murray always states his fact that you living in a society or you living in a community that you have no right not to be offended. You have no right not to be offended because someone is trying to express his freedom of speech, and you don't have to always resort to violence or always uh, uh, resort to violence when someone try to uh, uh, someone try to uh, express their freedom of speech and sometimes they tend to call it an hate speech sometimes uh, you see they will tell you that you are becoming uh, Islamophobic or because you are trying to express your freedom of speech and I believe because in in, in the culture where they came from in the country where they came from, People, uh, people are not allowed to express their freedom. Are not allowed to express how they feel about certain certain issues. Right now, they are not in UK. They are not in British, and they feel the same thing should be done. Which I believe that is totally that is totally wrong. So I've really learned a lot just listening to Douglas Murray. The point he have stated, the fact he have stated, you can tell that the, he always stand for the truth. He's not afraid to state the truth. You don't have to uh, uh, be afraid to say the truth because you feel people will say uh, people 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 call it an hate speech or they will say you are becoming a racist. You don't have to be afraid because of that. You always have to stand firm and say the truth. Because instead of us trying to uh, you know trying to accommodate this behavior, at the end of the day, you see it will cause a lot of a lot of a lot of problem in the society. It's better we just try to. Tell them the truth when they try to behave in, in certain ways that is against uh, the British culture, against the British value. We should we should be bold uh, to tell them that it's not accepted according to the uh, British value system. It's not accepted according to the British culture. You don't have to come to a country and try to impose your own culture on the people. So I also like to hear your opinion. Keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.